What's up, everybody? It's the Chill Scrub, and I'm coming back at you with another chess day and another topic. Today, I just want to talk about self respect and me self reflecting as I'm working out in the gym and what it means to me now, you know. To me, in my honest opinion, I feel like self respect is beat out of men at a young age, you know, from school, from parenting, from neglectful uh, parents. So when you're dealing with your classmates, to teachers, to so forth and so forth, and it's hard for people to build that self-respect and love for themselves that they desperately need. When it comes down to parenting, I feel like a lot of us men growing up, especially as boys in our adolescent years, we do not get the validation that we are needed or the validation that we need. A lot of people in the uh, red pillar say, well, you don't need validation. Chase your dreams. Do what you got to do. Do this, do that. But as an adolescent teenager and as a child, you don't know any better. And I figure out as, a, as I turn 29 in a couple of months that as I get older, I have to do a lot of self-correction. Uh, a lot of things that I did growing up that I end up hurting myself on, it's because of a lack of self-respect. And the only reason why I'm saying this or making these points it's from experience. A lot of the red pill community, a lot of the uh, the MGTOW and all this other stuff, they tell you these things, but they never tell you their personal experiences and where they short, where their shortcomings come in. I know a lot of my audience, I look at my analytics, a lot of my audience is around the 18 to 24 mark, the 24 to 35 year old mark. And I want them before they get to my age to be able to do those self-correction. If they haven't had those problems yet, they don't have to go through what I had to go through. A lot of this, uh, a lot of the lack of, lack of self-respect ends up turning into, uh, ends up turning to simping. With absent fathers and fathers not putting their sons up on game on how to deal with women and how to move accordingly, a lot of dudes just fall into this pattern of, well, they get rejected by women, they don't get the validation they need. Therefore, the mother tells them, hey, do this, cater to women, etc., etc., and it does not work. So... It goes from simping and then you go to the whole black pill movement and then it goes to hatred, resentment and depression and so forth and so forth. Now, I know there's a lot of people that watch Andrew Tate, uh, Fresh and Fit and all these other things. And I'm not saying that they are wrong. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with most of the things they say. But with that being said, everybody experience is going to be different. Uh, there's a quote by uh, Tommy Sotomayor. Uh, I think he got counseled as well, but he said something that was profound to me in my teenage years and it stuck with me all the way through. And uh, he said, just take what you need, you know, take the parts that apply to you and fix it accordingly. You know, a lot of people try to take uh, what these people say as gospel. And anybody who's listening to me, I don't want you to take what I say as gospel. I want you to look at it, analyze it, try it. If it works for you, good. If it doesn't, OK, see where you can make improvements. Uh, when it comes to the whole gym thing, and the reason why I started this whole series about making gym videos is to build that self-respect and confidence. And I realized I had a lack of self-respect. I used to let people treat me any kind of way, and I just don't, I don't go for that anymore, you know? Once you build that self-respect for yourself, you can start respecting others, and then you gain respect from other people. A lot of people don't talk about that. A lot of people just say, well, people should respect me. I mean, why would somebody respect you if you don't respect yourself? And as, as cliche as that sounds, it's the absolute truth. And the older I get, the more true I realize that. As men, when you come off as a weak, docile man the way society wants you to be, well, of course nobody's going to respect you. Well, of course you're not going to get the woman you want. Of course you're not going to get the job you want. Of course you're not going to be successful in any endeavor that you try to be in because, well, you lack the self-respect, the motivation, and the drive to go get it, right? And it just shows. You look at the dudes now, they're weaker. They, they're on the game 24-7. They're on OnlyFans buying these OnlyFans subscriptions. They're addicted to porn at, at a record and staggering numbers. Well, of course. I mean, even a lot of dudes that talk, they sound they, they they don't have any confidence. You can look and tell they don't have it. You know, a lot of them try to flaunt it. And when I look at the red pill space as of right now, it started off good, but it ends up getting corrupted just like everything else does. And then it turns to the blind leading the blind. Now, I'm not here to call anybody out. I'm not here to disrespect anybody. But when I see these things come about, uh, I am very cautious of who I, I listen to or I, who I want people to listen to. I want people to be free thinkers. And a lot of people I notice that follow the red pill, that follow uh, MGTOW, black pill, whatever have you, they're easily gullible, right? 
and they try to implement these things that just do not work for them because they haven't built up the self-respect the confidence and etc to be able to do these things right for me going to the gym and doing things that i find absolutely hard it's built my self-respect because i realize hey if i can do this if i'm respecting my body first you know eating right going to the gym getting proper sleep proper nutrition and all these things now granted i'm not perfect i'm still a novice at the gym i'm, I'm not perfect far from it and i'm still learning but if i can respect my body enough to you know strengthen it as hard as much as i possibly can and try to live a long and healthy life it translates into everything else you know it translates into my diction and how i speak it translates into how i move in, in general like when i do things you know you treat your things with care you look at a lot of men nowadays the way they dress they dress bummy you know they don't dress with any kind of effort they don't take care of their hair and i'm the last one to talk about hair good lord good nose i just walk out the house my hair just be what it is but a lot of dudes they don't they just they don't try you know a lot of dudes just don't want to look in the mirror and just say you know what i'm letting myself down you know i'm not respecting myself enough by trying the absolute hardest and being the best i could possibly be and a lot of people say they are but they're not because the moment any time anytime anything's get any re relatively difficult they want to give up and this is what forces me to keep going at the gym you know this is something that is extremely hard and i don't want to do it every day half the days i go i don't want to go but i keep going because i want to get that consistency down and i don't want to let myself down i don't want to look at myself five years from now and say damn what happened to you I don't want to look at myself 10 years and think, well, what if I would have kept going? You know, what if I would have kept working hard? What if I would have kept lifting weights? What if I would have kept eating right? You know, and it always goes into that thing I look at when Pete, when dudes want these top tier women, they want tens and eights and nines. But you're a two. Again, you don't take care of your body. You don't get proper nutrition. You don't try to dress well. You don't do this. You sit at home. You play the game all day. Dorito dust on your fingers you have no employment you have no sources of income well why would anybody want to date you and the thing about it is a lot of these people are getting depressed with things they can actually fix and then they look at social media which is one of the key forms of, or one of the things that uh expedite the process when it comes to depression because you're looking at these things and there's no way that in, in a month that you're going to achieve these things but you keep looking at it over and over and over again thinking that hey i want to be just like that but don't understand all the hard work that comes into it so yeah i, I find it odd this is why I, I look at the red pill the black pill the all this other stuff i'm like it's profit profiting off of men's depression if men had more self-respect for themselves depression would decrease they will be happy you know i realized the most miserable times in my life i had no self-respect for myself whatsoever i had no drive i had no ambitions i didn't go get what i wanted i didn't try you know and the more i tried and the more i felt i realized you know what it's not that bad failure is not that bad if anything failure is a good thing it gives me a, another chance to you know try again and see where I, I messed up where i can improve where did i go wrong how could i've done this situation more effectively all these things come into play when i fail you know and it's gotten to the point now where men are scared to fail a lot of these men do shameful tactics online like getting people banned you know following the whole woke mob bullshit and hiding behind the internet screen you know a lot of these people do not have the confidence to say what they say or vocalize what they say to people face to face you know the most scariest thing i see when i walk in walk outside in my day-to-day -day life is when i look at another grown man and i'm having a conversation with him and he cannot look me eye to eye i find that extremely weird you know to me with the way i was raised the way my father raised me is that's a sign of disrespect that's a sign of a coward a man that can't look you in the eye when he's when he's talking to you that's a sign of a coward a liar and etc you know the reason why i put myself out here in these vids i'm putting myself out there to be ridiculed you know somebody's gonna say well chill your technique isn't perfect or you know those are lightweights or i can do this that and the third better than you and, that, and that's fine you know I, I do this so you can build the confidence to go do it you know if i can do this day in and day out and by any means i'm not rich i'm just like you i work a nine to five i get it in just like you do put one pants leg at a time i'm a blue collar guy just like you are if i can do it you can too build that self-respect guys a lot of people will sit there and tell you this nonsense and tell you everything is going to be all right and just live just buy my 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 uh 
my alpha male red pill, red pill strategies bullshit that shit doesn't work man um the only way you're going to actually build the self-confidence and self-respect is just go out there and do it you know fail fail some more and keep failing until you get it right you know most of the people that you look at that are highly successful they didn't get it right on the first time and neither will you a lot of these men that go out here they think they're going to be exception to the rule a lot of people whether they want to admit it or not they use this red pill propaganda stuff and i'm not saying that it's wrong a lot of stuff they preach are absolutely correct but they look at this stuff and it gives them a dopamine hit because they say well i can be the high value man r.i.p kevin samuels or they want to be like andrew tate and talk about bugattis all day but these men have put in the work to got to get where they are that you haven't yet and then you look back at your ordinary life and be like god damn and then you say well i don't want to feel this way so i'm going to watch another video or you look at it like this i don't have any success or luck with women and going back to what i said earlier you don't actually put in the work to actually make yourself better what you do is i'm just going to keep soaking up this red pill information and hopefully that it'll be a quick fix there's no quick fix a lot of us as men we have to understand that we have a lot of healing to do a lot we have a lot of self-correction to do you know i had to take a hard look at myself in the mirror and say hey you have some toxic traits about you that you need to fix you know you have some self-respect issues that you need to fix rather it be my past or anything i'm not gonna sit here and let my past dictate my future and a lot of people do that a lot of people say well accept me as i am no that's bullshit fix who fix if you want something fix yourself accordingly to get what you want i'm not saying change who you are as a person but there's are some certain things about yourself that needs to be changed including myself and every day i work uh, i work towards it you know days i don't want to i call myself what i call myself out when i'm bullshitting men we all need to do that when we're bullshitting we need to call it call each other out or call yourself out you know don't be scared of that a lot of people we hide behind the internet and we hide behind the video games to hide our true suffering that's not cool face it head on like a man you want to be like the andrew sage you want to be like the i won't say sneako yet but you want to be like the kevin samuels and all these other high value successful men well you have to do the hard work you know we can't look at women and say well they have an easier road well so what that's life tough titty but that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed i'll see you next time in the next video and remember self-respect takes time peace